very good to see you. It's Thank been a you. long it's time. So good to see you too. You, you, look uh, good. you had your movie premiere last night, right? Yeah, we did. We did. And it was at the Grove. It was. Right. Which do they have movie premieres? Is the Grove is like the mall, right? It's the mall. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was fun, actually. It was a little bit unusual. Yeah, I feel like I've well, I've never been to a movie premiere there, and I've never had a movie premiere there, but it was really nice. Do you, as producer of the film, have to pay for the movie premiere yourself? <laughs> no, I paid for everything else basically. I like, see. With my my life, my business, my blood and sweat and tears on this one. So what no, exactly? Someone because else is paying for that. Not only I feel like not only doesn't. <laughs> America know what a movie producer does. Right. I don't know what a movie producer I don't either. does. It seems like some of them <laughs> really do get in there and figure it out and round people up to do it. Yes. And it seems like some people just kind of like, like Matt Damon is a producer on uh, <laughs> Manchester by the Sea. There's no right. way he did anything. Yeah, I mean, I, maybe not. I don't know. I mean, you're right. Some he's completely illiterate. He didn't write anything. <laughs> probably did nothing at all. You know, Ben Affleck wrote that whole movie. Ben, Matt sure. just typed it. No, so. no. But yeah. what, what do you do as the producer of the film? What are your responsibilities and what did you take on? My responsibilities for this particular film was trying to get this thing going. And we've been working on it for 10 like years. Like trying to get people to fund it? Like and... trying to get people to fund it, trying oh, to get years. a cast, trying to wow. get, um, you know, uh, financiers and then distributors and then getting a crew together and uh, finding the locations and making sure everybody's okay and happy and nobody hates each other and everyone's fed. I mean, you're doing all these little weird things to keep a giant machine yeah. running. Matt didn't do any of that no, stuff. No, he didn't. Yeah, no, not. there's no way. I'm Definitely realizing just, now that I'm totally just right. Just some typing. <laughs> Anybody can do that. Maybe even, Maybe. not even that, probably. <laughs> and you did this and you starred in the movie when, how many months pregnant were you? Uh, oh, eight, eight months pregnant? Eight months pregnant. S something like that. It was just crazy. Is that a good idea? No. No. This yeah. is a bad idea. <laughs> I mean, you don't want to be doing anything when you're eight months pregnant, let alone uh, living in New Orleans uh -huh. during Mardi Gras, Great. not partying with everybody else, <laughs> really miserable, uh -huh. and trying to get this thing off the ground, which was an amazing experience, but man, I couldn't, I, I could only shoot for five days, so I was there for the pre pre production, basically. Because why? Because of the doctor? Be yeah, because oh, of really? the, the time you can't fly past. Oh, right. Otherwise, you could, you know, like, just let it go on the airplane and yeah. like, ruin everybody's flight. You yeah. You'd have to land early. It's or they have to problem. throw you in the back of a flatbed truck and drive you back home. Basically. You don't want that. No, you do not. <laughs> so I had only five days to shoot, and then I had to fly home and basically just watch dailies as my, my producing partner, Michelle, and our director, Bill, did you're, everything without me. You're pregnant in the movie. Now, was your character pregnant in the movie because you were pregnant, or... Did yes. It was. Okay. But it wasn't initially that way. Over the I mean, literally, this has taken us nine and a half years to get made. Uh-huh. And over the, over, over the time period, the, the script changed a lot. You know, we did lots of, we did like 28 rewrites on it. And she was pregnant, she wasn't, she, she was pregnant, she wasn't. We thought, we can't, we can't do what we do to a pregnant woman in this movie, but then we figured, well, we just gotta do it anyway. Well, yeah, you have to because you're pregnant. Because <laughs> it's me. And otherwise, we can't hide it. Otherwise, we have to recast. And then that's like starts the whole process over with the producer finding another cast. Who's gonna play this part? We have a couple, we you know, it just goes into this like crazy cycle. Like on TV, cycle. like uh, when Kerry Washington is pregnant on Scandal, they put her behind a plant and right. then she's carrying a basket <laughs> and, a and desk, they do all the different things. And a counter. But you can't do a whole movie like that. Not really. No, unless I don't you call think so. it behind the plant. True. That would have been a really good idea. Unless where you really were you? embrace where were you it. When we needed you, I, you know what? I wasn't called. I, I really was not. I was not. <laughs> You're right. Nobody that's my called fault. Me. That's my fault. That's on As you. As the producer, that's on me. It is on you. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you enjoyed the video, hit subscribe. And if you don't click subscribe, this invisible hamster will die.